Hi, welcome to another example in my series on connected rates of change. And in this question, what we've got is a spherical balloon is being inflated with helium at a steady rate of 150 centimeter cubes every second. And what we've got to do is find the rate at which the surface area is changing when the radius is 6 centimeters. Now to do this, what I'd encourage you to do is just to draw a quick sketch. So we've got the spherical balloon and it's being inflated air if you like, well not air, actually helium is being blown into the end here at a rate of 150 centimeter cubes every second. Now we're going to need to use calculus notation. We're dealing with rates of change. So what is this in calculus notation? Well, this is a rate of change of volume. And that means that we can write this as dv by dt, the rate of change of volume. You can always tell by the units here. We've got volume, which is measured in centimeter cubes. And then you've got time in seconds per second, dv by dt. Now. What have we got to find? We've got to find the rate at which the surface area is changing. So what we need is the rate of change of area, so dA by dt. Now, in this problem, we're clearly dealing with area. And so what we need to remember is that the area of a sphere is always given by 4 pi r squared where r is the radius. So we'll just pop that in there, the radius. And also you can see that we're involved with volume as well in this question. So it'd be useful to remember the formula for the volume of a sphere. And you should know that is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So if we're to work out dA by dt, we can't find dA by dt from this because we haven't got any t's in here. And we can get around this problem by connecting rates of change. And what you should do is just write dA here, okay, then times, and then always here copy down what you've got there, which is dt. We're connecting rates of change because of this time sign. Now, what we put here and here must be the same. It's as if they cancel out. Well, the only other thing that we've really got is V. So we could put DV in here, DV and DV. We've got DV by DT. You can see it's 150, 150 centimeter cubes per second. Now to get DA DV, we've got a bit of a problem. What could we do? Well, we could try and make R the subject, say, and express R, say, from this formula in terms of A, and then substitute that into this formula and get an expression or equation, I should say, for V in terms of A. And then we would be able to find dV dA or DADV from that. But that's going to be really complicated. So I'm not going to go down that route. What I'm going to do is something a lot easier. What I'm going to do is split this DA by DV. Watch this. What we do is put DA there, times again, put DV down here, and what I'm going to introduce is again the same thing here and here. Then we've got times dv by dt. Now the question is, what am I going to put here? Well, looking at these formulas here, can you see that the sensible letter would be to have dr, the rate of change of area with respect to radius. And here we need to put dr back in again. Now I can work these things out, these rates of change, very easily. DADR, well, if we go over to this formula here, 
we can see that dA by dR is going to be equal to 8 pi R. So we can put 8 pi R here. So that's dA dR. Now what about dR dV? Well I can find dV dR quite easily. So we'll just do that, dV dR. That's going to be 4 times the 3, that's going to be 12 pi r squared all over 3. And that reduces down to 12 thirds, which is 4, 4 pi r squared. That's dV dr. We want dr dv. So all I've got to do is just invert this. It's going to be essentially 1 over 4 pi r squared. So I've got dr dv. Now times dv by dt, which is 150. So times 150. So you can see, hopefully, that this is very quick and easy. And if you tidy this up, what you get is 300 over r. So all we need to do now is just simply say, well, what is the, the rate of change of the area when r is 6? So just put when r equals 6 centimetres, therefore we have dA by dt equals 300 divided by 6, which is simply 50. And don't forget the units, we're looking at a rate of change of area. So that's centimetre squares for area, and it's with respect to time here, so that's every second per second. 50 centimetre squares per second is the rate of change of the area at the moment when the radius is 6 centimetres. Okay, well, I hope you've been able to follow that. And as I say, this is the part that I was really trying to push in this example, that you can use connected rates of change several times over just to simplify the problem. Now, if you miss this point, what I'm going to be doing in another video is I'm going to do this example again, but I'm going to show you how difficult it is if you make, say, R the subject here to get dA dV. All right? Just so that you can, can compare the two methods. And I'll hope you'll look at that so that you'll appreciate why this is so easy to do this way. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of this example.